Hello everybody, I'm Karen Robley, and I'm excited to be a part of this month of March as we celebrate women in history. I was excited to get the call from uh, Dr. Goldsmith when she uh, invited me to be a part of this. And then we hung up and I realized, hmm, women in history. Perhaps I'm old, and that's why she asked me. But I did tell her, though, as a coach, uh, we can be long-winded, and uh, it's hard to cut us off from speaking. So I'm going to try to keep uh, try to keep this succinct, and uh, and maybe just do this on one take. That's my goal. So we'll see how it goes as we do a self-interview here. Uh, they posed some questions to us, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, read the first one, and then uh, kind of chime in. All right, so the first one is, what motivates you to do your work? What is your why? What motivates me uh, to do my work are my players. I, I wanna work hard for them. I wanna work extremely hard for them because they're working hard in their every day. I see my career um, as one of a, a vocation, uh, one that is of servant. I serve my players. I often tell my players that, that my job is to serve them. And doing so, it's to present different situations to them. So whether it is to support them, uh, listen, put them in challenging situations, uh, help them problem solve, uh, these are things that I I think are valuable and uh, that I try to embrace um, in my everyday with them. I think uh, my biggest takeaway is when I get to see them five or 10 or 15 later with their uh, years later with their families and uh, we, we get to chat in the grocery store and they share some memory, some story that they had that we had together as, as a team. And to me, those are the biggest rewards because they took away some lifelong memory. So I look forward to continue to serve. Uh, I love what I do. Uh, it might sound crazy, but like I look forward to getting up every morning and doing what I do. I can't wait to get up in the morning. It's like Christmas every day for me. And, uh, and some days are more challenging than others. I might have to deal with uh, some difficult situations, but I'm ready to take them on. And uh, I enjoy that component as well. So yes, uh, my why is to serve and to work extremely hard in that process to see rewards from my players. Okay, if you could go back and give advice to your younger self, what would you share? What would you tell a woman today who may be facing the same issues? Uh, listen to your elders uh, would probably be my first advice. It's not that uh, the elders are wiser, it's just that they've had longer um, life experiences and they can share those with you. I think uh, even when I was younger in my 20s, you know, I didn't think I had all the right ideas, but I thought I had a lot of good ones. And I tried to uh, at least talk those out with people that were skilled in their career, uh, be around people that were professionals that had been doing it a lot longer than I had um, to get advice. So don't don't uh, stray away from getting advice or speaking to others if you need help or assistance with a problem um, as you work through it. I think that it's important. Also that uh, you're gonna be a lifelong learner. Change and challenges are inevitable. I think we see that now in our current state. And uh, you have to be okay that you're gonna need to continue and be excited about learning. I think when we're younger, it's like, yes, if I get my bachelor's degree, I'm set. No, you're gonna have to continue to learn, continue to grow, uh, because if you don't, you won't have that career anymore. Someone else is gonna have it. So you have to be okay with growing. I think one of the things, especially I see with our, our, even our staff right now in education, we all had to go back and learn how to do distant learning. I was fortunate I'd sign up to do distant learning because I do enjoy being a lifelong learner um, prior to the pandemic. So I was looking forward to learning about that. And now we all kind of got into that process, even as students got into that process. But what are the positive takeaways from that? What are we all gaining from uh, these changes and challenges? And I think that's been kind of my hope in finding joy in our current state is that, wow, I have learned so much in my profession in this short period of time, and it's allowed me to grow as a coach and an instructor. I've spent more time uh, watching videos, uh, 
listening to podcasts, reading articles than I've ever had the opportunity to do and grow. And it's been awesome. My third uh, thing of advice would be uh, make sure you know you're going to have to pay your dues and put in the work. I think we all are ready. We have that goal of what we want to do as a career, like what's the ultimate. It's not going to come right away. Uh, You're going to have to put in your time. You're going to have to put in your dues and know that that hard work will pay off, whether it's going to be a referral or reference from your supervisor. Um, And I think uh, it's important to know that, that, uh, you know, you're not going to get that great job right away. Uh, Put the time in, experience different types of settings uh, before you dive into things.